had sailed away without even seeing us, everyone on the island was very depressed. We were all hoping that that would be our chance to get off the island. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to hope another ship rescues us. Oh dear, it's so hot. It feels like we're in an oven. You're right, it certainly is a hot day today. I'll tell you one thing, if we'd been able to get on that ship, we'd all be a lot cooler right now. I really wonder why that ship didn't see us yesterday. I wonder if there's some reason they left us behind. They didn't see us. They would never have left us here if they had. It's the law of the sea, whether you're a merchant ship or a military vessel, that you have to help shipwreck survivors. There's no one out here to make them obey the law. Maybe they just didn't feel like picking us up. Fritz, I really cannot believe that they would leave us here. They didn't see us. Father's right. How can you believe that they would see us and just leave us here? Don't think so badly of people. Why would they do such a thing? Hmm. We'll just have to pray that the next ship rescues us. Where's Becca and Jack? There they are. Playing with the goats, of course. It seems to be their favorite pastime. Becca, Jack, that's enough now, children. Why don't you come on up for bed? But we're not tired. Besides, it's too hot to sleep. <laughs> The goats don't want to go to bed either. The baby goat doesn't seem to mind the heat. She's still hungry. Darling, this heat is just unbearable. I don't know how we are going to get to sleep. Hmm? I've got an idea. Why don't we all go down to the beach and cool off? There's bound to be some ocean breezes blowing. Hmm, good idea. I agree. I think Fritz has a very good idea. We should all go to the beach instead of moaning about the heat. All right, let's go. Oh, that will be wonderful. Becca! Jack! What do you want, Fritz? What you want, Fritz? We decided we're going to go to the beach to cool off. You mean it? Hooray! 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 <laughs> Back up! <laughs> You should thank Fritz. It was his idea to come here. We'll have to remember this in the future. Whenever it gets too hot in the jungle, we'll have to come here to the beach. Do you think you've cooled off enough to get some sleep now, Becca? Mm hmm I think it's time to go back to the treehouse and get ready for bed. I'd rather sleep here than go back to the treehouse. But you can't sleep out here, Becca. Why not? I couldn't go to sleep in the treehouse. It's too hot. It's much cooler here at the beach. But, Becca, you could be attacked by some wild beast on the prowl. We couldn't let that happen. Hmm. Hmm? Huh. <gasps> Shh! Be quiet, everybody. There's something moving out there. There, you see it moving? Hmm? I don't see a thing, Fritz. What is it, Fritz? I don't know, but it looks like it came from the sea. I'm going to check it out. Oh! Becca! Gracious. I saw it over there by the canoe. Over by the canoe, you say? I don't see... Wait a minute. There is something there. 
Let's go together and take a closer look. Huh? What's that? I have no idea. Oh, I know what it is, a turtle. Yes, I believe you're right, Fritz. I've never seen one that large. What is it? It's all right. Come over here. I think you should see this. Oh. Oh, well. All right, I want to see it, too. Oh, my, it's the world's largest turtle. Mother, you've got to see this. It's a large sea turtle. Oh, a sea turtle. Wait a minute, Jack. Where do you go think go you're right going? Jack! Oh. A turtle can bite you. Really? Look, Father. It's coming ashore. Why do you think it's coming ashore like that? I don't know. Let's follow it and find out. Good idea. Then we can find out why he's here. Oh, look at the way he's crawling and the tracks he makes. I think he's getting tired. What's he up to? Hmm? Maybe he came on the island to look for some food. He didn't necessarily come here for food. What else could he possibly want? That's what we'll all find out soon, Becca. Let's just continue to watch it. Boy, I'm glad I'm not a turtle. It would drive me crazy to go that slow. <laughs> oh! Shh! He's digging. What do you suppose he's up to? I'm not sure. Let's wait and see. Look, Becca, he's a good sand digger. Come on, Jack, let's go. Oh. Maybe he's digging a turtle bed. I don't think so. Huh? Oh. What's he doing now? I think you mean she. Oh, my. Oh. Look at all those eggs. She's laying so many turtle eggs. Look, more eggies. Oh, look, she's crying. Birth can be very painful. Does it hurt when people give birth? It's painful for all creatures to give birth, Becca. Did it hurt you when I was born, Mom? Yes, it did. Was I painful? Yes, Becca. You were a large baby at birth, and you caused me a lot of pain. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't realize birthing caused so much pain. <laughs> That's all right, Becca. It does hurt to give birth. But you know something? It only lasts a little while. And after it's over, the joy of having a baby makes you forget all about the pain, and all you feel is happiness. How many eggs do you think she'll lay? I think she's almost done. She's covering up her eggs with the sand. Why does she do that? She's doing that so no one will bother them. It's amazing. She smooths it out so no one knows she was there. Well, I must say, we've seen fantastic things since being here on this island. But to be able to witness the miracle of birth firsthand and the wonders of nature is truly incredible. My only hope is that I can be here to see the eggs hatch. Was it? Ah, uh, here they are. I found them. Here, Fritz, let me have one. Here you are, Jack. Oh, looky, this is the biggest egg I've ever seen. Hey, Father, turtle eggs are all right to eat, aren't they? Yes, that's right. They're quite edible. Well, that's lucky because there are a lot of them here. Leave them alone. What's the matter with no, you? No, you're not going to eat them, are you? Oh, 
Well, you heard, Father, the eggs are edible. How can you think to eat them when you saw how difficult it was for the turtle to lay them? Mother's right, it's cruel. You're not going to start that again, are you? Dad, what do you think? Shouldn't we be able to eat them? Well, turtle eggs are quite delicious. But it's not like we don't have enough to eat now. Under the circumstances, I think the best solution is to let the eggs hatch. Yay! All right, then. We'll allow them to hatch as part of our nature studies. That's right. Jack, give me back that egg. No, I won't. I said give it. No, give it back. <laughs> there. <laughs> Be sure to smooth it over good, Fritz, so nothing can bother them. When do you think they'll hatch, Father? We're all going to watch, and we'll all find out together. I can't wait. You will, Jack. <laughs> Fritz, Jack, and I continued to watch the sand where the turtle eggs were. We watched day after day and nothing seemed to happen. Mother said there's an old expression that a watch pot takes longer to boil, although I'm not sure what that has to do with turtle eggs. The children just haven't been able to keep their eyes off those turtle eggs all week long. I'm afraid they'll be waiting for a few more days. the baby turtles would come out. I'm getting tired of waiting for them already. Don't worry, oh. they'll come out. The sun is heating the sand mm. so they can hatch. I can't wait until they hatch. Me either. I'm gonna see the turtles. Becca! Hmm? Remember what I told you about a watched pot that never boils? What are they doing over there anyway? Huh? What are you doing, Father? We're making some salt. Salt? Absolutely. Oh, huh. how come? All the salt we brought from the ship is gone. We need to make more. And that's the way you make salt? Yes, you sprinkle seawater on the sun-heated sand. The hot sun dries up the water quickly, and then you repeat the process. And you continue to do it. See this? Huh? What does that do? There. See what happens? That area is already drying up. Why don't you two get some buckets and help? All right. Hey, wait for me. Sprinkle lightly so it will dry fast. All right. This would be easier with a water pot. Absolutely right, Becca. Just like the ones Mother used to water the garden. Your mother used to use these when it didn't rain. Here you go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cold! I was just trying to cool you down. It's so salty, my whole face tastes like peanuts. <laughs> Fritz, you're looking a little warm. Here, let me cool you off. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way to sprinkle. Ah, look, it's hardened. Is it ready? Yes, it is, Becca. It's all ready. Look, it just peels off. Here, you two. Take these boards and help us pile up all the salt we've made. We sure made a lot of salt. We certainly have, Fritz. We're going to need to cover all this up to protect it from the rain. That's right. If it should rain and the salt gets all wet, it will dissolve into the sand. Yes, you're right. Yes. Well, I think that'll just about do it. We need to cover all this up with a tent. Fritz, will you go and get it with me? All right. Ernest, I think I'll return with you so I can start something for dinner. Mm-hmm. Becca, you stay and watch over Jack till we get back. All right. Well, it had been a long day. Boy, was I starved. Father left me behind to watch after Jack until he and Fritz returned with the tent. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who was hungry. I wasn't ready for what happened next. Here we are in the turtle boys and girls playing in the sand, playing happy together, playing. Oh, oh. I broke it in two. Hmm. Hmm? Oh. A snake! Becca! Help! Help! It's a huh? snake! Becca, come quick! Becca! What's that awful snake doing there? I don't know, Jeff.
ugly snake shoo! Oh! What's wrong? Oh, I'm fine now, Dad. <clears throat> that snake was trying to get at the turtle eggs. Yeah, me and Becca scared the snake away. Actually, Jack, it looked like the snake scared you away. <laughs> the snake was just trying to get at the turtle eggs. Jack and I were trying to protect the eggs from the snake. Huh, is that right? I'm the one who found the snake. You're a brave little mm -hmm. boy, Jack. I want to cover the eggs up. There. It really rained hard that night, and just as Father had said, it was a good thing we covered up the sand when we were making our salt. Ah, all right, everyone, let's spread the sand out. Boy, I didn't realize making salt was such a chore. But actually, after being chased by a snake, I enjoyed just being able to work. We all worked very hard. Jack kept busy by keeping an eye on the turtle eggs. <gasps> what is Daddy doing? You'll soon find out, Becca. Just watch. All right, Fritz. Go and get some water and pour it over the sand I put in the barrel. Right. That's it. Just a little bit at a time. The water's coming out of the bottom. The water Fritz is pouring over the sand dissolves the salt, causing it to run off at the bottom. Then what do we do? Well, then we take the salty water and boil it until all the water is steamed away. And what you have left are the salt crystals at the bottom. See? There it is. Here, this is the salt we made. My! That looks different from the salt I've seen before. You're not used to seeing this kind of salt. You're accustomed to seeing refined salt. This is just plain rock salt from the sea, but it tastes the same. Go ahead and taste some, Becca. It's salty. It tastes just like the salt we have back home. It's the same. This is really delicious. I can just imagine it sprinkled over some nice steamed corn and butter. Hey, hey <laughs> you're letting your imagination run away with you. I can hmm? imagine corn if I want to, Fritz. All right, all right, calm down. Actually, Becca, you don't have long to wait. The corn will be harvested in the spring. Mm hmm Huh? The sand's moving. Hi, here they are. Hi, everybody, come see the turtles. There's a jillion of them. Come along. Hey. Hey, uh -huh. I want to see them. Oh, aren't they adorable? They all came out at the same time. Isn't that incredible, Father? I want one for a pet. No, you must leave it alone, Jack. Hmm. There you go, little one. They're all headed in the same direction. Where are they going to? They're all going to sea. How do they know to go to the sea? Nature is a wonderful thing. The one thing that I find so amazing is that all the turtles just know exactly where to go and not one of them gets lost. Mm-hmm. That's their instinct. They know exactly where to go and what to do without anyone having to teach them. They're born knowing that to survive, they must get to the ocean. Oh, they really are heading to the 
see. It really is the miracle of life. I'm very relieved now that we didn't go ahead and eat those turtle eggs. I don't think I shall ever forget the joy and excitement of seeing the turtles hatch after having seen them being laid as eggs. And I was really proud of Fritz. Even he realized how wonderful it was to see baby turtles being born. It was really something to watch them all struggle on the sand all the way down to the ocean. So small, they all look like toys. We all watched in amazement until every single baby turtle had slipped into the water and disappeared into the waves to begin their brand new lives. Yes, we've seen some amazing things on the island, but I think I shall always remember the baby turtles and their first day of life.